Man, well, you know, 2016, you won Grammy for Producer of the Year. What did that mean? Just in, yeah, what did that mean? Yeah, it meant a lot, to be honest, because <laughs> it was kind of like working really hard. And, and you know, like sometimes maybe you're like, um, it's awesome to be a part of these. You know, that's that word that's just like just for me, right? So, um awesome to be recognized for that and and um and to be in the company of all the people that were nominated and have been nominated and who have won the award is is just awesome but you know kind of took me back to like hey you know like all this stuff i'm doing it's it's all artistry also which is kind of my focus now on on like not just being the producer but being the artist and letting my that's kind of how i got into music to kind of right process like being alive and you know you know your thoughts your emotions like um and kind of get back to like manifesting that expression like from myself and not just kind of like give your babies away you know and, and share but be a little selfish and and um and um, I mean, producer, being a producer, you, you're you kind of obligated, like my dad's like a doctor, right? Like you're a doctor, right. you have an oath to heal people, to take care of people. I kind of take that approach a bit, like as the producer, I'm there to help them manifest their vision. I'm there to kind of help, help them find, hone their vision. Sometimes they have a better idea of it, like Kanye or Nate Roos, you know? Sometimes they might not. Like Mark didn't even kind of really fully have a fully formed idea of what he wanted to do. And then we end up with Uptown Funk, you know? But you're there in service to the artist, you know? And and I think like at this point in my career, I'm really excited about getting back. I think the pandemic might've had a lot to do with it too. Like getting back to like taking care of myself, you know? Like right. keeping some of that energy for myself and expressing what I have to express because, you know, like, um, that's really fulfilling, you know, to like, when, when I'd, you know, there's so many songs like Try Sleeping with a Broken Heart or uh, I Care or um, Party or, you know, Beyonce Party or, right. you know, that Damn. I wrote those, I you know, I did the whole song. I have the demo of me singing it and it's like, I just, even that's just therapeutic for me to like write those songs in the kind of in the mold of like the great songwriters. Like, I mean, there's just so many, right? Like Smokey Robinson from the Motown tradition or to like Diane Warren, who was a big mentor for me. And I worked for her when I came, came here um, to like Allie Willis or, you know, like uh, Stephen Sondheim, who's like a huge idol to me to express those emotions in and have the creative control after learning so much what I've learned from Kanye, right. seeing all my mentors and colleagues and, and peers do it, you know, like I have such a love for doing the artwork, putting the show together, collaborating, you know, uh, I'm really excited about kind of having all my own, having, doing some of my own work, you know, right. releasing some of my own albums. And I think like, you know, the producer of the year award, that that's a little bit, it's like maybe five years ago, but you know, that, that was so, so great to be recognized for like, for you, for what you do. And I think everyone needs to kind of never forget to value themselves and, and take stock of what you're bringing to the table and not take it for granted that, um, I mean, at the same time, so so important to have relationships and rely on people, but right. hard also important to step out of that. Like I stepped away from Kanye, you know, or I'm going to step away from producing to do my own projects now um, to keep growing and keep striving and keep, it's what kind of keeps it interesting and it keeps you learning. And that's uh, kind of goes hand in hand with that. Definitely. You mentioned Thug real quick. Love You More is, first of all, punk 
is just like I'm obsessed with that Ridiculous. album. So yeah. fire. Yeah. And a lot of people's favorite song is Love You More. Mm. I love seeing your name on that track. How did that come together? And what does it mean for him to feature you on the track? Like exactly. that's huge. I love when producers are included as a feature. I think that's exactly. genius. Um well, you know, we have been talking over the pandemic because I mean, Thug's like a huge fan of Nate's. Oh, okay. And kind right. of tangentially mine because I produced all that music with him. Um, we had been talking about doing a project all together, kind of all COVID, and it, it kind of never really came together because of the, the ups and downs of lockdown and and just geography. Um, so when they were finally like, hey, we, we want to do this record, um, will you come to Atlanta? Like oh, wow. Nate and I kind of looked at each other and we were like, yes, <laughs> let's do it. Like it's time. Right. So That's we went awesome. there and, and it totally reminded me of like, you know, Kanye situation where like all these, except it's all these new, incredibly talented young producers like Metro and Charlie Handsome and um, Taurus and like just, and Gunna's there. And it's just like, everyone's like, it's like a good vibe in the room and the music is like flowing. And it it was awesome for me to kind of reconnect with the culture in a way that I had kind of stepped away from. Kind of also like having a kid and getting a little older and having other interests. Like you got to be in touch with the culture in order totally. to make that music. So totally. it was a great like dive back into that. And also to feel so much love from all those guys, you know, for like all the work that we've been talking about, like how it inspired them and influenced them and had this real connection point that was a really inspiring, you know, place to kind of stand up. So it's like, you know, like when I touch the keyboards or when I'm in the room doing what I mean, that's artistry, you know, like that's me, like there's a vibration of emotion that I bring that, you know, I think it's just like, and just in a practical sense too, it's like, you know, from Mark Ronson to Calvin Harris to Diplo to Metro right. to many people, it's like, it's just a matter of your mindset. Like I'm the artist now too, you know? And I think once you take that mindset and you're gonna get into that collaborative spirit right. rather than a serving spirit, which, which is, Okay, too. You know, I've done that for so long. It's right. just time for me to kind of like stretch my artistry and and um, and it's so exciting to collaborate with kind of a generation that is kind of younger than me, but now they're getting a little older too. You know, they're starting to hit their 30s and now there's all these 19 year olds coming up behind right, totally. that's like just grew up in the social media and, you know, guys like ASAP Rocky and Cuddy are like, they're like the last rock stars, you know, where it was like, I'm a, or Travis too, you know, it's like, I'm a musician, you know, whereas now I feel like it's a bit more like the music's a bit of a backdrop to the social media experience. Right. You know, it's like that school or class, class of like Travis, ASAP, you know, even, you know, I, I guess like, um, uh, uh, Tyler, the creator, is kind of like in between, like, but still like this old visual of like someone on a stage performing. Whereas now, and even after the pandemic, things are so on your phone, you know? Right. And exactly. it's like that, um, it's really awesome to kind of connect with them on that because I come from even an older school of it like where it's like I grew up with the MTV generation right you know and it's like we're even more removed from social media but learning to kind of embrace it and going it's a it's a nice bridge and so kind of really like filled me with so much inspiration to be around like that group and like be part of the culture again like and on an artistic level, like I'm not necessarily going to be like up in the club or be staying up smoking blunts till four in the morning anymore. Like I used to be more into that. I was never much of a club person, but right. I, I would like stay up late. Now it's like I'm up at 6 a.m. like getting my kid ready for school. Right. 
exercising, having a healthy, more mature lifestyle, For sure. but kind of touching back and bringing that into their, which I enjoy too. I really enjoy like kind of evolving as a person totally. and, and growing older. I, I'm really embracing that, but it's awesome to like be invigorated by the younger culture and just right. see how inspiring they are and so talented and how they've really taken culture by the reins and taken it in their own direction you right. know it's just been awesome so it's awesome to kind of mix it up with Definitely. that that world that's beautiful 